Hello beauties and welcome to another video. Today we're doing a tete-a-tete, -a, -tete, a head to head with these two mascaras. So let's do this. Today we are trying out two mascaras that I've already done a first impressions review on. I have been using these um, pretty much every time I've been wearing makeup. They are great mascaras, but I was asked to do a comparison of these two. So the first one that I have here is the Kathy Cat Mascara. This is the Kathy Cat Curl and Flare Mascara, which is a long-lasting mascara that features a uniquely curved brush that provides a major lash lift with extraordinary curl and impressive length. And then we're comparing it to this one here, which is the FMG cashmere ultimate volume mascara and uh, this is an indulgent mascara that offers a high volume panoramic look with a rich glossy black pigments and stunning definition. It has a luxurious formula that provides extreme staying power and with easy removal and won't smudge or transfer during wear. Sounds great, right? So now, I, like I say, I have been using both of these. I have been alternating them. This one here, the cashmere one, also does have a very unique, almost like a, sphere, a spherical brush. Like if you haven't watched the videos yet, I will link them in the description box below. So make sure you do check those out. But we are going to compare these two. So we're going to compare a few different things today. Number one is we're going to compare price point and how it applies. Secondly, we're going to compare how it wears throughout the day and finally we're going to compare how well it's going to be removed when I wash my face all right so this is going to be a whole day you're hanging out with me all day today friends price point wise the Kathy Cat mascara regular price is $23.99 at avon.ca whereas the uh, cashmere mascara is $32 at, on the avon website and this is regular price obviously there are promotions that happen all the time but I want to give you the regular price comparison. The purpose of the two mascaras are different. The Kathy Cat one is more for a curling effect and also flare to so to help give you that really doe-eyed look whereas the cashmere one here is more for a volumizing look so it really does depend on what you want. Honestly though and I've done this before you can always layer your mascaras. You, you, you will be using two coats obviously but you can get the benefits of both mascaras if you want to do one coat of let's say the Kathy Cat the second coat of the volumizing mascara. So another thing that's similar for both mascaras is that they both have carnauba wax which provide lengthening and volumizing effects so you're going to get some volume out of both of these mascaras and they both have nourishing properties. So with the Kathy Cat and I'm only going to dive this real quick because you can always look up the more in-depth information on it is that it has panthenol, coconut oil and argan oil to nourish the lashes whereas the Cashmere Luxury Volume Mascara this one has biotin, collagen, olive derived wax and synthetic beeswax and carnauba wax. So you did hear that right. This one does have the synthetic beeswax, which means that this is also the vegan mascara, whereas the Kathy Cat one does not have it that it's vegan in the description. So I can't say that it is a vegan formula, only the cashmere one. So they are supposed to be both long lasting. So we're going to see whether or not it does any smudge ruse underneath. We're going to do left eye with Kathy Cat, right eye with the cashmere. For the brushes, the brushes are interesting. So with a Kathy Cat wand, it is a traditional wire form wand and it does have um, that little curve that you see here. Now, whereas for the cashmere one, the difference is it has some curves, this one. So this one has a very unique brush and you can see that both of them are in black. That is usually my color of choice is black mascara. Sometimes I would do a color one. The other difference is that the cashmere one does specifically say it is free from parabens, phthalates, sulfates, and gluten. So if you do need a gluten-free mascara, this is your friend. If you are not looking for any of that, then this one is perfect as well. In the description, it doesn't mention any of that, so that is also something to consider, and also probably the difference between the price point of the two. Now, with that said, let's see how these wear on my eyes. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my left eye and I'm going to do the Kathy Cat mascara on this eye. I've already curled my lashes, so this is my natural lashes. We're going to do two coats. Now, I never know which way to do it. I've seen people do it applied this way. I've seen people apply it this way. I don't know. 
so I'm just gonna apply it the way I apply it. I'll do one coat on both eyes first and then we'll do a second coat afterwards. So this is the Kathy Cat with one coat and now let's move over to the cashmere one with one coat. I honestly I love this brush. It was a little bit weird at the beginning. All right, so this is with one coat on both eyes. The first comparison that I have is that the cashmere one is definitely much uh, more of a wet formula, whereas I do find the Kathy Cat one to be a slightly drier formula. Pigment wise, I'm finding that the this one seems to be a little bit darker, the cashmere one. Anyways, let's do a second coat now. So here we are, two coats later, and this is my first notice. The cashmere volumizing mascara, I find that more of the product actually goes on, so it coats my lashes more, so it actually looks thicker, whereas the curl one, it is a more delicate application, and so it doesn't seem like it's it looks as thick. Normally, when I do day-to-day -day wear for this one here, I only ever do one coat. Actually, for both of them, I usually do one coat. Now, I don't think it's quite, quite, quite dry yet. I feel that it's it's more like popping on the cashmere side as opposed to the Kathy Cat side. I find the Kathy Cat dries faster too. And the cashmere one takes a little bit longer to dry. Interestingly, when I first started trying it out, I actually thought that the cashmere separated my lashes better, but it looks like that the Kathy Cat one actually separates my lashes better. So that's an interesting observation as well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to wear this for the day and let's see how it wears throughout the day. So stay tuned. A couple hours later, this is how it's doing so far. Don't know if that's from my liner, because I know my liner that I use today often smudges. I haven't done anything extraneous so far though. I haven't anything that done anything with that like requires a lot of running around. I've just been working. So as the day goes on, cooking dinner, I'm sure it'll make a little bit of a difference. So we'll see. It has now been 13 hours since I've had it on, and. This is how it looks. It hasn't really smudged too much. I don't know, really know if this is from my liner or the mascara. I should actually should have done it without liner. But you can see that it's still quite thick and not really flaked off. So they both last really, really long, which is great. So they're both really good mascaras. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be washing my face and seeing how easy it comes off. It is now off. They both actually came off fairly the same difficulty level or the, the same way. It's a little bit of remnants down here. Not so much on this side. I want to do my final thoughts in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It is now the morning after and the, the mascaras both came off quite easily, to be honest. Like, okay, there's no remnants or else it'd be all under my eyes and I'd have raccoon eyes. So overall, I think that they're both really great mascaras. I think it depends on what you're looking for. If you need something that's gluten-free and you want something that's vegan, then the cashmere one, that one on this side, was would definitely be more for you than the Kathy Cat. If you're looking for more of a day-to-day -day mascara, which more looks more natural, I think the Kathy Cat would be your go-to. However, I do feel that the cashmere one is, um, it does stand out more. It also kept the curl in my lashes longer. More of the product did apply onto my lashes, therefore it did look more um, bold and dramatic as opposed to Kathy Cat. So I think it really does depend on what you're looking for. They're both really good mascaras. I think overall, because it does keep the curl longer for me, I would personally prefer the cashmere one just because my lashes are very straight. Like you see that my natural lashes are quite straight and I'm always looking for something that will keep the curl. I also do like the fact that the, the cashmere mascara also is formulated with collagen. So once again, it really does depend. Price point wise, Kathy Cat is more budget friendly as opposed to the cashmere one. So just all depends on, you know, what you're looking for and what your needs are. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's any other two products that you would like me to do a head to head on, make sure you do leave a comment and let me know. If you haven't yet, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so very, very much. And until the next video, stay well, stay safe and stay fantastic. Bye. Bye.